PhD topic choice. One of the first things people should consider is the research topic and question. It is very important to consider your research interests before applying to schools, universities and supervisors. I have known many PhD students have continued with the same supervisor. They did their master's research because it was easier than looking around. This option is a great choice for some people but arguably changing supervisors to match a PhD topic that aligns with your research interests will be a much better decision. It is not important to understand exactly what area of research you want to go to into or delve deep into your research questions just yet. Highlighting your general areas of interest within a broad field such as history, medicine, physics, chemistry, biology, social science or other area is the best starting point. In my experience, because I had done a chemistry undergraduate, I knew that I wanted to go into a solar cell or renewable energy research area. You know to do my bit for the world. Finding researchers and universities with research projects in my desired area of study was easy after knowing that I want what I wanted to do. In Australia, it is very common for PhD students to be told the exact topic of their PhD by supervisors. These academic supervisors often have a large research group with multiple streams of research. They need someone to continue research in an area that looks promising. Take over from a graduating students or fill gaps in their research team that they have noticed. On the other hand, it is also very common for a PhD supervisors to help craft an entirely new PhD topic and question perspective graduates. Having the freedom of to choose your PhD topic and craft with your PhD supervisor comes with pros and cons. Both options can work very well and whether or not you like to be told the research topic that needs investigating or want to find your niche is completely up to you. I entered a PhD with a research topic created by a new collaboration of three supervisors across two departments of the University of Newcastle in Australia. They had already highlighted the key components of the research and the literature for me to get started. I liked having the beginning of the research project laid out for me, which allowed me to take it in my direction after doing a series of preliminary experiments. If you have the luxury of crafting your PhD topic, here is how I would choose a fantastic PhD topic. The holy trinity of a good topic. Picking a fantastic topic comes down to the overlap of three important areas. Firstly, it is something that you are interested in. Secondly, it is something that society values. And finally, it should be something that you can get a good at and potentially become the best in the world at doing. Wow, your interests. Write down as specifically as possible your research interests. Is there a certain reasons why you are keen on particular area? Some of the most compelling reasons I have seen people doing a PhD are their first-hand experience of an issue. Whether it is a medical issue or a problem they have faced in a hobby or industry, they are currently living with the issue themselves. It could be that you have always had particular interest in a given area. It is common for us to enjoy astronomy, dinosaur, chemistry, physics and other non-STEM subjects as children. Perhaps you have always been interested in how people respond to celebrities or public health advice. Maybe you have always been interested in why some social media or campaigns work better than others. No matter your interests, there is almost certainly an opportunity to do a PhD on it. 
what do you find yourself reading about in your spare time have you got a lot of history with a particular subject or questions these are fantastic ideas for you to think about the best phd topic you will need to be able to stay interested in this topic f- for a very long time choosing a topic you have some connection to a demonstrated interest in already will suddenly help a word of warning i have always been careful to separate my professional life from hobbies used to rejuvenate myself turning a hobby into a phd or choosing a topic around something you love to do can quickly kill the enjoyment of the topic before following a passion make sure that it is something you genuinely want to pursue rather than feel good topic that provides an escape from academia valued by society does society value your potential topic area i have seen that topics that are valued by society often have greater potential for grant money and are often much easier to promote and talk about to the university media department everyone is interested in food security education and cool gadgets getting the media department excited about a 19th century writer is much harder not impossible but harder a good way to think about this is with good old fashion pub test if you were to talk if you were to walk into a pub and strike up a conversation with someone would they be interested in you, in your topic does it specifically address a human issues if i said i was researching solar cells most people had a general interest a good phd topic is one in which there is a fair amount of societal value along with societal value comes money greater opportunities to grow to grow your professional and personal brand and a greater feeling of satisfaction that is not to say that popular opinion is the most important thing about your phd choosing an obscure area to work on and then getting good at marketing that idea is also a valuable skill to build during your phd the unfortunate reality of choosing an area of study is that research needs money and it is much easier to convince someone to part with money when your idea is valued by society something you are good at the last of the holy trinity of great phd topic is choosing something that you are good at there is a t- there is typically an overlap between things we are interested in and things we are good at but they are not necessarily intertwined having a skill in particular area may help you to decide on your phd topic for example i was particularly good at the operation of instruments during my masters research this propens propensity meant that i choose a phd in which i could analyze solar cells via various microscopes and instruments from atomic force microscopes to transmission electron microscopes i learned to operate them all and without sounding big headed i was quite good at it doing a phd comes with the potential and opportunity to become the best in the world in a particular field if you are already working with your strengths you will be able to master something much quicker and enjoy the process now what you now that you know the holy trinity of choosing a phd topic some techniques will allow you to narrow down your research and topic